An inconceivably long time ago, there was a land called Rains. Rains was a beautiful and glorious land in the midst of a golden age of peace and happiness. Having survived many dark ages of war, famine, and superstition, the people of Rains had turned their back on fear, mistrust, and hatred towards agriculture, philosophy, art, and the sciences. Within the land of Rains, living in a village called Cuthbert, there was a boy named Horn. Not much need be said of Horn right now. He was an orphan in the care of his Aunt Belle, a blacksmith's apprentice on the eve of manhood. Far more interesting than Horn's childhood is the story of how he awakened one day in the ruins of an old tower with absolutely no memory of how he had gotten there and of what perils and horrors he faced thereafter. Sir? Sir, I'm, I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. I don't know how I got here. Can you? Hey, excuse me. Sir, I just need... Please, sir. I mean no harm. I need help. Why do you follow me? Have you seen the High Pygon Emperor's personal squire? I seem to have misplaced him. Say, what are you? Why do you look strange? You are pink and rubbery. It's... it's nothing. Never mind. Sorry to trouble you. I'll just be going. Stop! Why do you carry the horn of the High Pygon Emperor's personal squire? I... I don't know. I found it when I woke up. Did you break the High Pygon Emperor's personal squire? This is all very odd. 
You are pink and rubbery, and you broke the High Pygon Emperor's personal squire. I didn't. I'm telling you, I just found it. The Pygon High Council will need to examine you to sort this out. If you are broken, they will fix you. Perhaps you are inside out. That would be easy to fix. You will come with me. N no! What is happening? Over here! I'm over here! Oh, don't be careful. There's some mud. Oh, this is ridiculous. Wait. What are you? Ah! This might come in handy. Guess that's how you fire. Cuthbert? Wait, this is Eggbeard River Hollow, but it looks so different. Halt! This road is off limits. It is not on limits. You are limited to anywhere that is not this road.
Hang on! I've got you! Aunt Belle? Horn! How did I get here? What's happening? We'd best get back to the village horn and sort this all out. You stay on the walkway, Aunt Belle. It will be safer. I'll take the low road and protect you. Brave lad. But how did you come to be out here in the middle of the night? I don't know. I woke up in a tower. I think it was the Cuthbert Library Tower, but it... It seems so old, like a ruin. Aunt Belle, do you not remember anything? The last thing I remember is planting turnips. You were... It's hard to explain. Just now, you were a behemoth, a colossus. Horn, what are you talking about? You tried to hurt me. I, I had to fight you. I did not know it was you, but then you changed back into yourself. I think it has something to do with this strange crystal I found. I know little of dark magic, but I wonder, if you released me from the form of a demon, had you similar form? And if so, how did you come to your own release? Horn experienced flashes of memory of being something huge in the ruins of that tower. Had he been Pygon, too? He recalled a sharp pain. Had the crystal struck him? Was its enchantment somehow key to undoing the Pygon curse? Horn! What's happening down there? My way is blocked. The arch has been bricked up. There's a lever here. It's rusted, but I think I can... Ugh. Aunt Belle, what do you know of that shrine? I remember hearing silly stories of magical songs. I'm going to investigate. Maybe there's something in there that can help us. Horn, be careful. Horn realized that though he could not sing, he did carry with him a strange artifact that just might be able to produce music.
you on the other side of the pass horn. <laughs> <laughs> 